when, when my father died and I was coming back from Oxford, I obviously was in that zone and on the flight back I was holding a Peluda book. I wasn't reading, I don't even remember what I was doing but I was holding a Peluda book because he was survival. For us in Bengal, Peluda is hope, his aspiration, his belief, his, his confidence, his respect, his dignity. He is an international voice speaking out to an international world. In your, in your oeuvre of work, how important has Peluda been? Well, I have uh, just, um, let me tell you, I am not a formally uh, trained actor. So I have, I grew up the hard way, you know, because I was, uh, my director didn't spare the rod. So um, uh, that's how I grew up in theatre and I have portrayed the character just the way the director wanted it to be done. So I have not really analysed how uh, Peluda should be and what Peluda has actually done as far as the film. But how is. important has Peluda been for you and portraying someone who is so important in the Shottujit Rai oeuvre for you? Uh, because we, when we think it's Shomitra Babu, you, Tota now. So how important has it been for you? It has been very important for me because I always wanted to play Peluda. And because this is a character, um, as everyone um, uh, every boy has his own idol. My idol was my father. And my father uh, resembled a lot of Peluda traits. And so um, I wanted to be like my you father. You actually met Ray, right? Huh? Yeah, he he, he actually, went to Ray went and to said, to allow me to play yeah. Peluda. That's what he did, right? Uh, that's what I did. I, went, I walked up to Shotujit and said, I want to play Peluda. And he said, uh, well, I have stopped making Peluda. You can talk to my son. And when I said, TK, I'm not going to disturb you anymore, sir. So I, I stood up and he said, Koto. I said, six, one and a half. He said, I'm six, four. <laughs> I said, I know that, sir. <laughs> Unbelievable. Last few minutes. Srijit, if you, if you really want to sort of, you know, the way the torchbearer of the Bengali film industry from Ray to now, what are the things that you have imbibed from him? Is he still the where you want to reach? How important is Ray in your own collection of work? He is obviously uh, the person everyone looks up to. I mean, if someone says that I don't look up to uh, Ray, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 that universe is something which is beyond my comprehension. Because if you look at his filmmaking, he's, he's that storyteller who can appeal to people across intellectual sensibilities, across age, across gender, across social divides, you know. He's, he's like that constant, he's like the pole star, who's always giving you that direction, you know, whenever you're lost, you're wondering what dialogue should come in this particular sequence, or am I actually writing too much? Should there be more brevity to the entire sequence, or maybe, you know, uh, even if you're thinking that uh, how much of uh, a balance there should be between interior and exterior shots, screen writing, dialogues, costumes, the detailing, the research. So he's, he's he, I mean, there was a Shottujitra Film and Television Institute much before the actual SRFTI was born. You know, yeah. that institute was in Bishop Lefroy Road. He was actually a building. He had floors. Each floor had rooms. Each room had libraries. Each library had books. Each, each book had chapters. So he was that layered uh, an inspiration. So I think it's, it's, it's very difficult, as you said, to capture that influence in 25 minutes or 30 minutes.